Welcome back to Your Next Watch, the series in which we talk about watches you're looking to add to your collection and discuss everything you need to know about it. Today we want to tackle a popular release from 2018 from one of the biggest brands. The Black Bay GMT from Tudor offers a popular complication from a prestigious Swiss brand in a modern size with versatile colours constructed in-house for less than £3,000. That's a pretty impressive package and something which is hard to beat for the price point. But what is it actually like to spend some real time with the watch? Let's get started with what we already know. Tudor has avoided going down the path of the smaller Black Bay 58 and stuck with their full-size standard 41mm case. Many of us here find the 41mm width to be very wearable, with a few regularly on the wrist of team members. Despite this, going for the standard Black Bay case does mean that the one pitfall is still present the thickness of 14.5mm. Considering this Black Bay does have the additional GMT function, it is hard to knock points off Tudor here. This is an early sign of Tudor's acknowledgement of this thickness, as they have taken steps with this case to try and reduce how tall it feels on the wrist. Turning the watch on the side, you'll notice some slight chamfering to the lower side of the case, which in practice does actually help the watch wear thinner. An appreciated return to this Black Bay is Tudor's almost signature anodized aluminium bezel insert. This bezel has such a warm, soft look to it, which really allows the watch to stay true to not just the watch's tool watch DNA, but also Tudor as a brand. This understated matte finish allows the bezel to shift in colour tones from royal blue and dark metallic red to an almost black and deep burgundy colour. Movement wise, the Black Bay GMT comes with a brand new in house movement from Tudor with 70 hours of power reserve. As we talked about in episode 1 of Your Next Watch, a long power reserve like this is always welcome and something you will come to appreciate once you own the piece. In terms of functionality as a GMT, the watch is very legible and simple to use. This new movement means the first position of the crown moves the hour hand independently, which can then be used to change the date as well. The Black Bay GMT has a few key positives and things we would improve. Let's quickly rattle through them now for you. First up, the bezel on the GMT feels reliable but it's not a patch on the Black Bay Diver equivalent. The bezel on the Diver is an incredibly smooth feature of the watch. However, with the GMT, it feels more stiff and harder to adjust on the go. This may be an issue exclusive to the model we have here, but it's worth bringing up nevertheless. Second, the crown. Once again, it does feel like immediate history repeating itself, as when compared to the Black Bay Diver, the GMT crown does feel a little less appealing. It works absolutely fine, but just doesn't feel as smooth. On the topic of the crown, you may have noticed the lack of colour on the tube. This is a nice little detail that felt great on the older Black Bays, so I felt it was a shame to not find either a red or a blue tube surrounding the crown. The last thing to note here is the increased snowflake hand presence. With the hour, seconds and GMT hand all being snowflake, I can see how it may feel a little heavy. Now the negatives are out of the way, on to the positives. In recent years, Tudor has seemed to get the balance between small vintage design touches and modern craftsmanship is perfectly right. The Black Bay Diver with its gilt coloured details on the dial, red tip bezel, rivet bracelet and cracked leather strap option all gives off a vintage vibe, yet the watch remains a modern piece. It's a similar story with the GMT. Once again, nothing is overly vintage, it doesn't provoke a homage feeling, but the soft anodized bezel with its matte finish and almost burgundy and blue colour really gives off a simple, minimalist, old school feel. And then consider the watch as a modern piece. You get a large 41mm size, solid oyster bracelet with a sharp angular buckle design. The case has been upgraded with chamfering details and it's a new in-house movement. Conscious design details and improvements like this from Tudor only make the watch more desirable. The Black Bay GMT is available on a few strap options. If it was me, I'd recommend picking up the bracelet option if you can. It'll give you the versatility of having a standard looking GMT and will allow you to play a little more with replacement watch straps. In person and on the wrist, the rivets on the bracelet are actually quite subtle. Many people disagree with the use of them, but in real life it's quite easy to forget they're even there. You'll likely only really notice the rivets once you're looking at the watch from a certain angle. Replacement watch strap wise, a classic for the Black Bay lineup is our Vintage Highly. A cool looking strap due to its pull up leather properties, neat beige stitching throughout and almost perfect dimensions for the Black Bay GMT. The dark brown option really brings out the watch's old school look very well. If you're after a strap combo which is the most versatile and provide you with everyday comfort, the highly should definitely be on your shopping list. 
Next up, something very different. The iridescent herringbone NATO in navy and red clearly picks up on the red and blue on the bezel and really makes it pop. This option is a silky soft NATO, which is ideal for regular wear. Finally, we have the blue Helmsley from our Gakota range. This strap is a pretty great match to the blue on the bezel. The thickness is around 4mm, so perfect for the case of the Tudor. The continuous stitching picks up on the details of the dial extremely well, and the combo has helped massively because of how comfortable the strap is. With demand for Rolex not looking to slow down anytime soon, Tudor make it extremely hard to ignore the Black Bay GMT. If you're looking to add the GMT to your collection, the main points you want to consider are Firstly, the watch is a truly practical luxury watch you can wear anywhere. It doesn't exclusively shine if you're always on the go either, as the GMT hand doesn't dominate the dial, so it's versatile enough for regular wear. Next, the watch is well sized. It is a little chunky, so you will find this will impact when you decide where to wear the watch and which strap you go for. And finally, its popular colour scheme and genuine brand heritage carries a lot of credibility with it. And of course, when we consider it's a modern, in-house GMT timepiece, powered by an extremely robust COSC certified movement, with 70 hours of power reserve, 200 metres of water resistance, and a highly desirable design, for less than £3,000, you can't really argue with that. To find out more about the Black Bay GMT, check out the Watch Gecko Online magazine, where we chat more about some strap suggestions, the features of the watch, and our thoughts when compared to other Black Bay offerings. We'll leave a link in the description below. Let us know in the comments below which other watches you would like to see featured on more episodes of Your Next Watch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.